Hey, at your leisure, Nick Chase here in the Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument. Now we all know this is an incredible place and now it's open to more off-roading where you can drive your off-road vehicles on the dirt roads, which is fantastic. But there is also plenty to do and see when the road ends. Today, we're gonna be showing you some of those amazing things that you can get up to. And this one we're starting at is called Zebra Slot, just south of the town of Escalante. The hike to Zebra Slot works out great for a half day trip with enough time to fit in other nearby stops. It's not just about the Slot Canyon at the end either. The whole walk getting there is just as phenomenal. The hike out, about 2.1, 2.2 miles out, it was spectacular. And the Slot Canyon, uh, that's really amazing. Well worth the trip, that's the reward at the end of the trip. The hike Getting here was also well worth it. The scenery along the way, the rock formations, that's fantastic. These high walls surrounding the desert washes tell their own vivid stories of their geological past. The ancient sand dunes, now formed into sandstone, create the visual wonders of this area in the monument, including the Zebra Slot Canyon itself. This Zebra Slot Trail is really um, awesome. Uh, the rock formation's been super beautiful. Um, sand and just the entire landscape has been super beautiful, the weather has been super beautiful. While the Slot Canyon acts as the grand finale, be warned, the squeezes and technical footing pose, well, let's say, an interesting challenge. It, it's fun. I, I was afraid that it may be dark and then I would get a little claustrophobic, but I didn't. It just, I was disappointed that I couldn't fit. Like, are you going to get back out again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, am I going to get stuck? <laughs> the zebra slot makes for a truly one-of-a-kind experience, no matter how far in you get. Further down the road, you can find offshoots to more natural anomalies, like the legendary cosmic ashtray, or large fields of stone-filled black iron balls, known as Moki marbles. And when you're done exploring those magnificent areas, you can actually come here to Devil's Garden. It's a day-use area with great amenities. It's got pit toilets, picnic tables if you want to stop for lunch. And when you're done eating, you can go explore these wonderful rock spectacles that are behind me. If the powers that be had ever attempted to make a jungle gym out of rocks and sand, then it would probably look identical to Devil's Garden. This naturally formed playground makes for a splendid place to either stop, relax, and catch your breath, or to get your last bit of energy out for the day. Uh, we've just been hopping across rocks, uh, admiring the cave systems that are around, and um, it reminds me a lot of the Flintstone st stone in uh, LA. It's family fin friendly for sure. Um, I think us as young adults have enjoyed our time um, thoroughly, and I think there's plenty of hiking trails for more older folk as well. The access within the Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument is fantastic and as you can see there are so many wonderful things to stop and check out and enjoy. If you'd like to come see some of the things that we did today, you can just find them on Hole in the Rock Road just on the east side of the town of Escalante. There's 60 miles worth of road and a turnout just about every two miles for different things to stop and see. For this week's Where To and At Your Leisure, I'm Nick Chase.